When it comes to the internet, it can make things easier for many of us, mm -hmm. but it can also make things more dangerous if we yeah. lose our identity to criminals. And tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprecia is digging deeper into how scammers can use social media to access your personal information, sometimes with some very long-lasting impacts. When criminals get a hold of your identity, it can be a long road to recovery and can be financially and emotionally devastating. A person whose identity is compromised, especially if they're seriously compromised, goes through the exact same emotional pattern as somebody who goes through a violent crime. And James Lee with the Identity Theft Resource Center says a situation like that can impact every part of your life. What we find is people have uh, problems at work after that. They have problems with their family. You have people who, and they tell us about 10% of the time, that they actually contemplate suicide. The Federal Trade Commission says it received more than 1 million reports of identity theft last year. And a new survey by U.S. News & World Report says 73% of Americans were victimized by ID theft, with more than a quarter of them being victimized more than once. And where do scammers get a lot of their information about you? Well, we actually give it away unknowingly. A lot of times on social media, Scammers are just looking for whatever little tidbit they can find out about you. You can make it tougher for scammers to steal your ID, shred sensitive paperwork, don't just toss it in the trash, freeze your credit, create strong passwords, like a phrase that only you would know, and limit your online posting. When you post photographs, a lot of them these days come with metadata attached. Should you strip the metadata out before you post a photo? Um, if possible, you can go through your phone or you can go through an editing app and see if there's options that you can use to erase some of that metadata. Identity theft is so common, there's actually insurance for it. But before you run out and buy a separate policy, check with your agent first and see if it's already covered under your current homeowner's insurance. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprager.